Welcome back. Today I'm continuing the process to convert my 1981 DeLorean into an electric vehicle. And on today's episode, I'm going to be mounting our front large battery pack. To catch you up quickly, I'm taking the entire drivetrain out of a Chevy Bolt, the electric motor, the ember, the charger, the batteries, everything, and swapping them into the DeLorean. This is Project Lightning. Before I jump into mounting the battery box, let me just show you where it's sitting and why it is sitting there. So this main structural beam that runs right down here, that is our front cross member. And it's very, very strong, very sturdy. It's basically the front of the, um, the, the Y frame or X frame that they call in the DeLorean. And so this is where all of the weight for the front battery pack is gonna be resting. So, um, I've got the battery pack positioned um, just a little bit farther to the right than being perfectly centered. Uh, and that is because I needed to make room for our brake booster and brake master cylinder. And so this is basically over as far as it can be so that this can still fit here. Um, and then as far as its front to back positioning, I went back as far as I could while still maintaining some space behind here because I am going to need high voltage cables um, and also cooling pipes and likely some um, the HVAC stuff is going to come through this front area. So I wanted to leave, um, you know, basically a hand width uh, right there. And then up front, this will give us enough space for our cooling fans right here to be able to blow and get around the battery pack. So there's going to be four mounting locations. So yes, this entire job that I'm doing <laughs> is basically putting four bolts in, um, but I have, to, I have to drill through the frame and mount those. So here's the first one right here. Um, and you can see over to the right, this is our steering rack. And this whole plate area um, is called the front frame extension. And it is uh, bolted into place, and so it's relatively strong. But in my opinion, I wouldn't want to mount the entire battery pack just to that front frame extension. Um, but yeah, so I mounted it as far forward as I could there. And then if I kind of look under here, here's the other, uh, right in the middle there. There is the other mount position on this side and it is sitting right on top of that cross member. And so basically we're gonna put a hole on the one on the left and a hole on the one on the right. And that is mirrored on the other side. Oh, if I can kind of stretch my way over there. I don't know if I could. <laughs> I don't know if that's visible for you, but that's where we're gonna put those holes. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. The first thing I'm doing here is to use a center punch to mark the location for where I want the bolt holes in the frame. Then I can lift up the empty battery box to get it out of the way, and then I can start drilling. I'm using a liberal amount of oil to drill into the frame. This is an aftermarket frame made of stainless steel and drilling through stainless is much more difficult than drilling through regular mild steel. All right, so I drilled those holes and then I put a bolt through each one and then went underneath and uh, put a nut on the other side. So each one of these is now fixed in place. And uh, now I can place the battery box back on these fixed points and get them welded. Here is a side view of these little tabs. These are half an inch thick so that the battery box can clear the bolt heads that attach the front frame extension and the brake line that will run under it. Okay, I've put the battery box back into place. 
and I've got it back aligned right on top of our little mounting plates there. And I've also got the welding blanket. So I'm gonna move that blanket around, um, put it in place, and then get these tack welded together with the flux core welder. Well, since I don't like to hide my mess ups, um, here's one. So that bolt goes through there. I didn't leave enough space to actually get a thing around it. <laughs> so, yep, I'm gonna undo this and uh, I'll give it another shot. All right, this is round two. up. These are some close-up shots of the welds. Just going to take a look. So we've got some kind of crusty flux core welds that hold our mount plates on. So this is looking at the bottom of the pack, obviously. Uh, these holes here were meant to be plug welded, but now that I think about it, this is 3 16th inch, 3 16th inch steel. So just doing it around all the edges, um, and then the front is definitely going to be enough. So I think I'm going to skip the plug welds. I've got some new welding equipment in the shop. I picked up a new TIG torch head a new super flexible line, and new consumables. These are replacing the ones that came with the welder, and they are significantly better. I'm genuinely very happy with my welds now. Let me give you the full tour of the welds. When I first started this project, I was very intimidated by TIG welding, and my first welds were terrible. But I've come a long way, and now I'm very comfortable with this level of fabrication work. However, no matter how good of a welder you are, flux core welds are always ugly. So let me get these ground out and then TIG weld them. Here's the final result, all painted. And with that, the front large battery box is in place and permanently mounted. I know it doesn't look like much has changed since the beginning of the video, but this is real progress. Uh, so if you want to see what's coming up next, I still have to do the small battery box, which sits right behind it, and then start hooking up all the wiring. So if that seems like a fun project, you won't want to miss out on the next episodes. So please show me that you're interested and give me your support by subscribing. This is Project Lightning.